right, today we're gonna to show you how to wrap a spider bandage. Um, it is a requirement for Equine Canada Rider Levels. If you wanna be a coach, it's a bandage to help cover an injury. So today we're gonna to pretend that we have a laceration on his front left leg. You can see I've already added a stable bandage and that stable bandage, because I'm gonna wrap the forearm, is to provide stability to the spider bandage. So the spider bandage is, isn't like a bandage you can buy in the store. It's generally created from a rag or a piece of towel or something. You actually just cut it to size and then you cut all these little things in because that's what you're gonna tie. So you can see I've cut them on both sides of this bandage. Doesn't have to be super fancy. Its only purpose is to cover an injury. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. If we were doing this outside of a video, we would have have wrapped the other front leg for support because if this leg is injured, um, it's gonna put a little, the horse generally will put more weight on the other one. So we've got a pretend laceration. It's got, you know, maybe stitches and some gauze over top of it. Now we just need to protect it. So I'm just gonna wrap it first with the no bow cotton. Nothing super fancy. Should be clean, obviously. And I want it snug, which can be a bit of a challenge when you are wrapping the forearm because Obviously, it's not the same size at the, at the top and the bottom. So we're just going to do that again. And I'm going to sit it right on top of my stable bandage because I'm going to use that stable bandage to give some support. So we're going to do two knots. I've left a little bit of white at the top. One, and I'm going to make it pretty snug. All right, my tails are going to hang. Remember that your cotton is going to provide the ability to take that pressure and make it even. Two knots. Please don't move. Okay. And I'm going to leave my tails hanging down so that way they're kind of hidden. The horse isn't going to want to grab them. And for some reason, if your tails aren't super long, you can just rip them. Remember, we made this out of a rag or an old towel. It doesn't have to be fancy. Tail hangs down. So when I made this bandage, I did make it a little thinner on the end, knowing that the leg is a little thinner on the end. Oh, I either missed a piece or I, oh, I have a couple more. one here. I only have one on the right. And then I'm actually just going to take my bandage scissors. I'll just add one I think on the right here. So again, this is the benefit of of just using an old rag. So this one will unfortunately be a little off to the side. Fine. So same thing, I'm just gonna take one and two 
and I will cut this extra one I have off. So you can see it's fairly snug. It's not going to move, but there's enough I can still get my fingers in there. Now all these extra tails that you have at the end, all you've got to do now is just tuck these up under. And that's just so the horse doesn't tug on them. Kind of even that out. There, make sure it's nice and even. Pressure is even. And you can see because it's sitting on the, the top of your stable bandage here, that it's not going to slide down. So don't expect that you're going to be able to actually undo all these knots. That's why we use just an old towel or a rag. We're going to take our bandage scissors, which are blunt ended. So I can't get the horse and we're literally just going to cut it off. So let's say you've got to change that bandage, you know, every couple of days. There. I mean, you could use, instead of using a spider bandage, you could use something like that wrap. But the problem becomes it's going to slide down much like anything the spider bandage will too unless you're really diligent about making it fit to the pore. all right and that's how you do a spider bandage don't forget to subscribe